Hello everyone and welcome to the brand new fourth grade edition of How to Pass the Math FSA. Today we'll be working on the standard. It's maths.4.oa.1.1 and this is going to be lesson one, multiplicative comparisons. Kind of a tricky word to say, multiplicative comparison. So let me teach you. One, let's go ahead and kick this off. On Monday, Eric earned four dollars. On Tuesday, Eric earned three times. I'm going to box that word times because that's a key word for the question. Three times as much money. Write a multiplication equation that represents how much money Eric earned on Tuesday. Now, I can't underline the question because there is no question, but I am going to underline what the problem is asking me to do. The problem is asking me to write a multiplication equation that represents how much money Eric earned on Tuesday. Does it say to just write how much money? No, read carefully. It says write a multiplication equation. So when I see that he earned $4 on Monday, and then on Tuesday, he earned three times, as much, I know three times really represents three times four dollars, which equals 12. You guys need to be fluent with your multiplication tables in fourth grade. All right, so write a multiplication equation. I'm gonna list a couple answers that you could put in this box. Um, the box is, this is an equation editor item. So only your answer is gonna go in this box and you really only want one answer. I'm going to list the possibilities that you could have. So you could have 3 times $4 equals 12. That's a possibility. You could also do um, <clears throat> 3 times, I'm just going to write without the dollar sign, 3 times 4 equals question mark because you're solving for the unknown. And if you want to be really fancy, you could do three times four equals a variable, and we're looking for the money earned, so I'm gonna put equals E. That's my variable. So I'm gonna choose to write this one, three times four equals question mark, and mine. Notice I stay within the box, and none of my work goes inside the box. Example two. This item type is a grid item type. This is a type of item that, it's good. grid stands for graphic response item display, meaning that if you're taking this test on a computer, which fourth grade you will next year, okay? Um, if you're taking this test on a computer, it's gonna involve a lot of dragging and dropping things. So can we drag and drop on paper? No, but we can go ahead and plug in certain things. So let me teach you how to do this one. All right, Jill has eight times as many apples as Jack. Jack has six apples. Create a multiplication equation, there we go again, that represents this situation. Um, by the way, if you're having a hard time seeing this, which you might be, um, or if you want to be working these out with me, Click the link in the description box below that will take you to the same resource that I'm using um, plus hundreds of more problems um, that you don't see in the video. So that give you extra practice. So do that. Um, back to this question. So Jill has eight times. There's eight times that word. Again, we know that that means eight times as many apples as Jack. And Jack has how many? Six apples. Okay, and I'm creating a multiplication equation. So if you look over here, I see six, eight, question mark, plus, minus, multiplication and division. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm just creating an equation in this box. I'm gonna change color so you can see a little bit better. So I already have my equation. I just have to, if you notice right here, I don't even have to figure out the product, which we know the product would be 48 because you're fluent with your multiplication facts. If you're not, you need to get on it. I'm telling you, you need it for life. Um, 
So now I'm going to drag these numbers over here. So eight would go in this first box. Ooh, bloop. Okay. My multiplication symbol would go in that circle. Choo, bloop. Six would go in this box. Choo, drag and drop. And I don't have 48, but I do have my unknown, which I was trying to figure out. So my question mark is going to go into this box. Choo. Moving on, example three. Trisha earns $3 in one week doing chores. In one week doing chores. Match the situation to the correct earning. That's what the question's asking me to do. This is a matching item. So what I need to do is look at this column over here and match it by putting a check mark in the box that applies to the scenario. So Trisha earns $3 in one week. I'm gonna put T equals $3. Joey earns four times as much as Trisha. So Joey earns four times what Trisha earns, which is $3. So he has 12, so bloop. Put a check mark in the 12 box. Ben earns three times as much as Trisha. So three times as much as Trisha, which is three, that would be nine dollars. Bloop. Lily earns five times as much as Trisha. Five times as much as Trisha. Five times three is 15. You have a smart class there or you're a smart student. All right, $15. Example four, which statement represents 54 equals six times nine? First of all, I'm gonna write this over here so I can work it out. Now work it out. All right, <clears throat> so I'm gonna drop this down and put this into words. 54, 54. The word for equals when you're writing it out is, is. So when you see an equal sign, it really stands for is. 54 is six times, so times as many as nine. 54 is six times as many as nine. 54 times as many as 6 is 9. That would be 54 times as many as 6 is 9. That's not what I'm, I'm representing there. 54, I'm going to be 54 is equals 6 times as many as 9. 6 times as many as 9. Boom. That looks good. I'm going to put a question mark. I'm going to check the rest because I'm a scholar and that's what I do. Nine is six times as many as four. No, not even the same numbers. And nine times as many as 54 equals six. And y'all know that nine times 54 is gonna be way larger than six. So no, that doesn't make sense. B is your final answer. Example five, Ahmad has three times as many pieces of candy as Henry. Henry has seven pieces of candy. Select all the equations that show how many pieces of candy Ahmad has. Um, select all. This is a multi-select, which means there's probably going to be more than one correct answer. And in order to get this ty these types of questions right, you need to pick all of the correct answers. If you only pick some of the correct answers, you're gonna get it wrong. So read it carefully. Um, so, uh, so Ahmad has three times as much as Henry, and Henry has seven pieces. So that would equal what? We know it's 21 because again, you're fluent with your math facts. And so now I just need to select all the equations that might look like this. 3 times 7 equals the unknown. Yeah, that looks like 1. 3 plus 7, 
I am not doing addition here. Psh. Seven plus three, again, no, not doing addition. Three times seven, this really is three times seven. When you have parentheses like that, that means that you are multiplying these two numbers. So yeah, that's gonna work and you might not pick that if you didn't know that parentheses mean that you're multiplying. Um, and three times three plus seven, that's not what we're doing, but let me show you that if you did this, that would be three times, I was gonna say 21, but we're adding. So three times 10 would be 30, and 30 is not the product we're looking for. We are looking for 21. So no, I'm gonna mark A, I'm gonna mark D, and I'm gonna go whoop whoop, because I got it right. Example six. <laughs> Never mind, I'm out. This problem's too long. Bye. <laughs> You're probably laughing, and if not, you should be a little bit. But this is the truth. This is what some of you guys do. You look at these big problems, and you're like, I give up. I can't do it. No. Use cubes. Take it one step at a time. You've got this. Let's do it. Justin, Chris, and Lance. Bye, bye, bye inside joke for some of you. Not even a joke, but inside, you know. And sink is the bomb. Justin and Chris and Lance are completing homework problems. Justin completes four homework problems. Chris, Chris completes three times as many homework problems as Justin. I'm just gonna start underlining names. Lance completes two times as many problems as Chris. Who completes the most homework problems? Explain your reasoning. Okay, I'm underlining what it's asking me to do. So this is an open response item, meaning that I'm not just putting a number in here, I need to explain, I need to respond to this problem using complete sentences. No lowercase i's, people. You're in fourth grade now. You got a writing test coming up too. All right, so um, let me, I'm going to evaluate the scenario over here. Justin, who is awesome. Of course, I'm referring to Justin Timberlake in this problem because he is awesome. Four homework problems. Chris, shout out to Chris. I've actually met Chris before. He's an awesome, awesome guy. Um, and I'm actually really good friends with his sister, Molly. She's awesome. Shout out to Aunt Molly. All right. So Chris completes three times as many problems as Justin. So Chris completes four, I'm sorry, 12 problems. And Lance completes two times as many problems as Chris. So not as many as Justin, but as many as Chris. So that would be 12. Two times 12 would be 24. So Justin completes four, Chris completes 12, and Lance completes 24. So now I need to respond to this answer. All right, so I'm gonna write. Who completes the most homework problems? Lance completes the most homework problems because he completes 24 period Justin only completes four problems. And Chris completes 12. Period, make sure you have your period. Wait, you, you can't leave yet. I've gotta leave you with an inspirational thought. Uh, so here's our inspirational thought for today. It comes from Charles Swindle. He says, life is 10% what happens to you 
and 90% how you react to it. It's not what happens to you that matters, it's how you react to it. Life is gonna throw you challenges. You can either see them as obstacles or opportunities. You can either let them, what life throws at you, get you down, or you can say, no, I'm not gonna give up with this. So be the person who overcomes the challenges that life throws to you.